a lot of people want to know, are we going to move to Costa Rica? Man, it's good to be back home. We just got back from Costa Rica and we had an absolute amazing time there. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it was such a learning experience and an adventure all around. The temperatures there were in the upper 70s and upper 80s and the humidity was in the upper 90s and 100% at times. But it was amazing. Everything there was still green and lush and it was just fantastic. And now that we come back here, it's a lot cooler. The temperatures are, well last night got into the 30s and uh, I've gone from wearing shorts to sweatshirt and long pants and having to start a fire. And everything here is brown, red, yellow, with some orange, and fall has set in here. And it's time to get back to work. One of the things that I've been reflecting on during our time in Costa Rica was just a different spirit that is there versus here as far as in terms of work. And uh, I've had issues, chronic issues with chronic fatigue and adrenal issues associated with just pushing yourself too much, pushing myself too much. And while I was there, I've just noticed a release and people going at a different pace. And it's something I want to kind of think and and keep in mind as I'm going forward to really not be in the hurry hurry go go 24 7 it's uh, something that we fall into here in the United States especially and it's really not good for us so even though we have a lot to do here I'm gonna make sure that I'm really taking a conscious approach to how I pace myself even more so than I have done in the past All right, it's that time of year where things are really cool in the morning, but it's starting to warm up now, and we got a lot to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done. Uh, I gotta harvest a bunch of things for our customers today, deliver it to the customers, as well as take our rental back from our trip, as well as have so many eggs to wash. Oh, it's just crazy. I'll see if Lacey can help out in the kids and uh, we'll start getting some of this stuff done. Oh, there they are right there. Hey Lacey, you feel like you can give me a hand? There's a number of peppers that need to be harvested. There's just so much to do. Oh, I'll help out. I have no idea how I'm going to get all this done. <sighs> this we'll get crazy. it done. We always do. Yeah. Alright, let's get on it. I have no idea what I would do on the homestead without my family. There's no way I could get it all done. Thankfully, I have them here to help me and love me, pick me up even when I'm down. And one of my favorite things about homesteading together as a family is we can actually work and spend time together and help each other out. Shayla and I worked together on harvesting this 50 foot bed of kale while Lacey was working on harvesting the Murasaki peppers. These Murasaki peppers have been so prolific and they're just so easy to harvest. I'm sure we're gonna grow them next year too. After I finished harvesting the kale, Swiss chard, and arugula, I gave some of the arugula to the chickens, which I always like to do because it's just fun seeing them gobble it all up. And after we finished harvesting in the market garden, the last thing to harvest was our microgreens from our grow room. Radish microgreens is our best selling microgreen that we have here on the farm. And they're tasty too.
And after everything was harvested, washed, and packaged, next I had to drop off the rental car from our trip. After that, I had to deliver all this produce that we just harvested to our customers. As well as pick up some feed for our chickens and ducks while I was out. Finally, I got back home and then it was time to wash all the eggs that the chickens had laid for us and the ducks while we were gone. Man, what a day. It's tough transitioning back to the normal routine and workflow here on the farm. Uh, what you doing right there? Well, I was just reading comments and uh, a lot of people want to know, are we going to move to Costa Rica? Well, I actually haven't considered moving away from our homestead and both of us are pretty much from North Carolina even though I wasn't, wasn't born here I consider myself from here and I never considered moving away from here until we made a trip to Baker Creek for the first time and seeing their farm and getting to know the people there and that was the first place I that I felt like we fit in besides where we are now it was just the farm there is so beautiful it's so neat. It's just, and, and the landscape there and topography there is just, it's just very beautiful. It is. It's really pretty. And both of us have been to different places, like out of the country, like you've been to Mexico. I've, we've been to Guatemala and Jamaica together. Those places are beautiful and, and nice to visit, but I, I never pictured myself living in any of those places. And uh, it wasn't until Baker Creek that I even, the thought crossed my mind to, to even go somewhere else. And, uh, and then we've heard stories like our friend Brandon from the Ecuador Homestead on YouTube who his family packed up everything, left the United States to live in Ecuador and start a homestead. And then seeing all the neat things that they're doing is, is just pretty amazing. Uh, and, and then we made this recent trip to Costa Rica and it's put it on the forefront of my mind even more. It's like, whoa, Costa Rica. It's so beautiful here. The temperature is perfect. And it's like, wow, could I live here? And there's so many Americans moving down to Costa Rica. It's just, it definitely has put it on my mind to, to the possibility of moving somewhere else. What about you? I mean, you, you can't argue. Costa Rica is a beautiful place. And it has my mountains, and it has the beach. Yeah, you love the mountains, and Sailor love loves the, the beach. <laughs> and it's really close together, yeah. too. Yeah. So, you never know. Yeah. But some of the factors to consider for us, because we really value these, and one is family. I didn't get to grow up around my grandparents, and both sets of our children's grandparents live here in this area. And, and that's something very important to to us that they are able to have that relationship as long as we're able to have that relationship with them. Uh, another thing is think about the work that we've done here, all the things that we have established here and blood, sweat and tears have gone into building up this, this homestead that we have here. Uh, that's very important too. As well as the community, a community of friends, of fellow homesteaders who are in this area that we're really close to as well as friends of ours in, in church and, and uh, nearby. That, that's very important to us as well. And um, those are some, some of the things that we have to consider if we're gonna move. And uh, right now I would say the answer to that of moving is no. So we plan to stay here in the homestead in North Carolina, but I do really value the experiences that we can gain in visiting different places. Yeah. So we plan to visit more and more places within the United States and outside whenever we're able to because those, those experiences are extremely valuable to us being inspired as homestead, homesteaders and interacting with various people and learning about different cultures that's beneficial to us as adults and to our children as homeschoolers 
be able to provide them with that firsthand experience. And not even homeschoolers, just as a human yeah, being. Yeah, I agree. And learning that we're all human and we all have certain needs and we all have value and it, it's just, that's super important to us that our children know that every person has value even if they're different. Yep, yep. So we may get more into ecotourism and and traveling. We won't be full-time travel vloggers, but we do plan to have more travel within our videos because uh, like, I, like I just said, it's extremely important. And we love sharing those experiences to you. Uh, not everyone is able to go to these various places and experience these different things. And we wanna be able to share that with you. And, and thank you for those of you who express your appreciation for us sharing it and, and uh, making comments like, we felt like we were right there with you. That felt so good. And just talking about all the things that you've learned. Uh, just When we go on these trips, yes, we have fun, but it's not all about fun, it's about learning and being inspired and experiencing the natural environment that is all around the world to experience that is different from just here. We love being here on the homestead and we greatly enjoy it, but we also want to see other parts of the world. This is life and we want to live it. It's an adventure and we want to be on it. <laughs> and he drags me on plenty of adventures. <laughs> so for now, we're staying here and uh, continue to plan, plan to continue to share our adventures with you here on the homestead and then at times off the homestead. And besides, we have some chicks and some ducklings that are arriving this week. So uh, stay tuned for that. As well as we got some plans to do some uh, renovation projects on our year and around the homestead. So stay tuned for that. Well, that's it for now. And the adventure continues here. We'll see you next time. And as always, grow, grow on. on. Bye guys.